is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to save your LT250R from blowing up. And is it as simple as this box right here? In this box, I have these custom made, here's a bearings and two billet thrust washers. And these go in the piston here. Now you'll see I already installed it and I'm an idiot. Um, I installed it without these. These are very important to your engine. And I only paid 35 bucks for these washers and this bearing. And that right there could save me from an entire top end rebuild or possibly even bottom end rebuild. So the 35 bucks is absolutely worth it. And really what these do is in your connecting rod, you put the bearing in and then on each end, these thrush washers go in and they're milled perfectly to the right spec. Uh, they go in, then you put the race through and the piston on and then you know, you got your sir clips and everything there. But let's get on to doing this. So step one, we'll be removing your piston and, or, you know, this isn't everybody's first step. Sometimes it's just putting the piston in, but I'm going to remove this. So I got to take the sir clips out. So that's a task. That's fun. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will get right back with you. All right. I just removed the sir clips, which sucks. Oh, I hate removing sir clips so much. So the next thing to do is to get this race out okay guys so i got the piston off here you'll see i got it off and here's the connecting rod uh, i took the bearing out because if you look here this is the old bearing right and here's the new one now they look pretty much the same until you put them next to each other you notice this one is a lot shorter and that is to accommodate for the thrust washers so the next step is to take this new bearing and we're going to slide this right into your connecting rod. So it's good there. And then we take our thrust washers, which are right here. And then these go on the sides of this here. Now this might be a little bit of a pain to get in, but that's how it sits. And that is to limit the movement of the piston side to side because it is horrible in these things. So I'm gonna throw the time lapse on and get this in. that is done you'll notice very minimal back and forth and that's good you don't want it to be completely solid and you don't want it to be like ridiculously loose so now that that's in the race was giving me kind of a pain um it was probably when i was getting those circlips i you might be able to see it's a little boogered in there but it'll be fine uh, i just got to throw the circlips back in and then you're good to go i'm putting the top end together and you're all set. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Mr. Kevin Cunningham. He uh, sent me this stuff, his Facebook. I can link that right in the description. That's where I bought him from. Really cool guy. Check him out if you need him. I highly, highly recommend them. It will save you so much money in the long run. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.